After the Chandrayaan and the Aditya L1 missions, now ISRO is preparing to gear up for another mission, and that is Gaganyaan. It literally means a journey into the celestial arena, and this time it could be likely with the manned mission, which means sending a crew into space. And that is going to be possibly the most ambitious mission that ISRO has taken up so far. Here are details about how ISRO is one step closer toward the Gaganyaan mission launch. On 22nd and 23rd September, ISRO successfully completed the CE-20 E-13 engine hot test for the Gaganyaan qualification and 22-ton thrust qualification. To put in simple words, ISRO was able to test fire the enhanced capacity of its time-tested cryogenic engines. This engine of LVM-3, nicknamed as Bahubali, has already proven its reliability and efficiency in six consecutive missions during Chandrayaan 2 and 3 and two commercial one-web missions. Prajolan or Safalta Poon Uthapan LVM-3 M4 rocket ka. But for a successful manned mission, this engine needs to be more powerful. To carry increased payloads from 19 tons to 22 tons, ISRO is upgrading the CE-20 engine. The upper cryogenic stage is being transformed into the C-32 stage with an enhanced propellant loading capacity. And that showed perfect test results at Tamil Nadu's Mahindragiri Test Center. Developed by the Velyamala Liquid Propulsion System Center in Kerala, the CE-20 engine operated at 22 tons of thrust for 670 seconds with both engine and facility meeting performance expectations. By the end of 2024 to the beginning of 2025, ISRO will launch its first manned mission, Gaganyaan. ISRO's next big project is Gaganyaan, that is to send humans, the astronauts of India, to the space where it is expected that they will stay for three to four days and this is the rocket that's going to help them. This is an LVM-3 that is human rated and that's why we call it as 8LVM-3. This is the same rocket that took Chandrayaan-3 to the moon and the important aspect here is that on the top there is a modification where you could see nozzle design and on the top over the national flag that is a place where there will be a port there is an escape system also that is being currently tested and this is the port where the astronauts will reside we have human rating this lvm3 by human rating is the safety factors and the margin and the reliability factors we are incorporating in this we have to increase the margin as you know we will last, we will go for a minimum margin in a usual launch vehicle whereas we are we have to make it safeguard for any eventualities or any deviation. That, when you are integrating, we are looking at the S200 motors and as well as the L110 motors, which you are seeing in the stage. And then we have the cryogen C25 stage. Now we are trying to augment the C25 stage to some level, to reliability, with proper reliability. And then, once you integrate, instead of the heat shield payload fairing that you usually see in the other launch vehicle, we are now putting the crew the service module, crew module, with its own heat load pairing and with a crew escape system. That crew escape system, which is the heaviest motors, solid motors resting there, is to a different orbit that it has only uh, low altitude escape motor as well as high altitude escape motors inbuilt with a pitch, uh, with a crew erection motor, CJM, crew jettisoning motor. In the normal course, the LEM and HEM motors will not require to be Okay, to be fire. As it reaches certain orbit, the crew escape system will jettison off, and only the the crew module, which we call it as orbital module, comprising of crew module and service module, will be remaining there. And so, this rocket will take them up this up to the space where they will revolve around the Earth, go around the Earth, and this is a very important and crucial step where ISRO is doing consecutive tests again and again to remove all sort of errors. And the important aspect here, the next one, is that the re-entry, which, which will be inside this pod. And this is the one where you could see the uh, miniature model. One, to five, one is to five scale. You will have uh, kind of a thermal tiles here to make sure that during re-entry, it will take care of the heat that is produced. And inside, if I could open and show, you will see the models of astronaut, how they will be inside safe and secure. But a very important aspect that we would like to show you is about 
the space suit which is very essential because the astronauts are going to wear this all the time as they are in the space this is the design that you see over here all these uh, like uh, projections that you see in this port are something that monitors the health it will provide oxygen and various other important aspects one of the very important thing the astronauts should take care of is the pressure and here you have a pressure monitor which will constantly tell them the pressure reading as well this design is it, it's kind of like a modular design because here you see this is a hand and it's something like that you can revolve and you can remove so this is a model of the space suit of the astronaut the mask and the way you could see the couplings are here to close it make sure that it's the pressure is balanced inside and what pressure humans can handle that will be inside in fact the pressure on earth is 14.7 psi that will be ma ma managed as well and here this is a setup and this is how isro is gearing up for gaganyaan project the indian space agency has shortlisted four candidates to go on this mission they have already undergone initial training in russia now they are undergoing further training at the newly opened astronaut training facility in bengaluru in the next couple of months isro could launch the first high altitude abort test to validate the crew escape system for gaganyaan astronaut mission with pramod madhav bureau report india today